Hi, this is Rebecca with Journal Tsunami with another video about some of the keyword tools that I like to use in my low content book research. It's important to know that you don't use just one tool and think that you have it all. Usually, most people who are doing any kind of research online for search engine optimization, for Amazon, for websites, for blogging, any of those things, will use a wide variety of tools. Each one has a different sort of uh, trajectory that it will take you in. When I'm beginning to do some research, sometimes you need to get some seed keyword ideas. And Amazon is a great place, of course, to start since you're going to be selling your books on Amazon itself. But one of the great uh, keyword tools that I like to use is called Answer the Public. So you go to Google, type in Answer the Public. You'll click on that first search return. And it should take you to a page that looks like this with this weird, strange man that stands there rolling his eyes at you. <laughs> um, you can get a Y and then he stares at you and so he's encouraging you to type something in. So in this box right here, you're going to type in whatever your search term is. In this particular case, I'm going to type in planners for and then you click on get answers. It can take a couple of seconds to get a return. So I just uh, already opened the page where I have the return. If you want to do a new search, you go up here and start a new search. Just click on that. But what this is good for is you'll see that it has questions, prepositions, comparisons, a list, a huge list of alphabeticals, and then related words. And the other wonderful thing is that you can download the CSV for this. You also, if you have Keywords Everywhere, which is another tool that I mentioned, you can add the keywords that are on these pages into Keywords Everywhere to also get some search results. I won't do that at this time, but it's fun for you to play with any of the searches that you do to see what your keywords would be um, when it returns to see what phrases actually are worthwhile exploring. So you first get on and scroll down and you'll see it goes in order as you scroll down the page. So actually, if I click on that, it'll take me straight down to preposition. If I click on alphabeticals, it'll take me straight down to alphabetical. So this is sort of your navigation right here. And I can go with visualization or I can just go straight with data, depending on how you like to visualize things. The nice thing with the data profile is that I do get my keywords everywhere information that tells me if there's Google search results for those terms. And it's always surprising to me um, what terms one would think uh, would have some search results, but actually don't. Um, and where to buy planners for school? That has very low search results. Maybe because of the time of year it is, it's hard to say. But I do like looking at it from the data point of view, but if you wanna see it from visualization, you certainly can. But let's take a look from the data point of view We'll go with questions. What are planners good for? And you can see we have R. What are planners good for? What to use planners for? Um, what are the best planners for college students? So college students, okay, I would go to Amazon and start looking up planners for college students. Um, Let's see, best planners for moms. I would write that down and think about researching planners for moms. Uh, for school, school's kind of generic. We have college, but I would think that you could have planners for high school students. Um, let's see, how to make planners for sale. We don't have anything which, who, why, and will, so that's interesting also. Here's some prepositions. We'll go with data again. Planners can do, and so that might be something I would start searching for a little bit more. 
Um, planners can do what? Research. Planners can do, you know, so it's a seed keyword for me to think about. Uh, planners, so obviously some of these are not going to be relevant to me, but when I do hit gold, I hit gold big time. Uh, planner, best planners for to-do lists. So that's a great one to research on Amazon. Planners for back to school. Uh, to-do list is a big one. Planners for adults with ADHD. So that's a great one. Um, I would go to Amazon and look for planners for, and then start looking uh, down that list. Planners for students with ADHD. Planners for college students with ADHD. They have actually some fairly decent um, search results. Planners without spirals. Planners without dates. Planners without borders. I'm not quite sure what that means. Um, for, is that images that go all the way to the edges? Um, planners without lines. So is that a dot planner? So again, well worth researching, but also notice uh, these have zero Google search results. So that's something to consider as well. But planners without date, so an undated planner, um, instead of calling your planner undated planner, perhaps planner without dates is another term that you want to have in your backend keywords if you're making undated planners. Here's my comparisons. Again, we'll click on data so that we can get our keywords everywhere results. We have homework planners, planners for 28 and 2019, obviously that's past. For work and personal, for work and school, jobs for planners and organizers. Careers for planners, so these are probably more event planners they're talking about. Um, planners for work and home, for moms and business owners, moms and professionals, how about moms that are professionals. Uh, wedding planners, uh, I don't know what Virat and Anushka are, maybe they're people. Um, best planners for college and work. So again, I am hitting the mother load in terms of great research ideas. So you never need to be without ideas. This is for people that are always asking me, where do you get your ideas from? They're all over the internet. You just need to know how to go and go to Google and go to a tool like this to begin to get great ideas. Now, I'm not going to go through all of these here. As you can see, there's a wealth, a plethora of information here, and it goes into each time you're searching, it goes through all of this for each search term. So you could actually take a lot of time doing this research. Now, I personally, when I'm doing research, I spend one entire day, sometimes two, maybe even more depending on the niche or if I'm just beginning to do research for a niche. And I will do a deep dive into that niche for at least an entire day before I even begin to make a book. So a site like this really gives me a great place to start because I can go planners for nurses, planners for doctors, planners for students, and then I can start delving down into some of the other niche down terminologies that might pop up when I start typing in those words. So I'm going to end this video here. I think you get the idea. This is Answer the Public, and you'll know that you're on the right website because you'll get this irritated old man in this very, very hot sweater, even in the middle of the summer. So enjoy your search. Have fun. This is Rebecca from Journal Tsunami. Hope to see you in my free group. Talk to you later.